Welcome back to Serial Eaters to another edition of What's in the Box. So what have we got this time? Well this is from 1967 and it's Kellogg's Cocoa Krispies Holiday Motoring Moments. Let's take a look. So you'll see I don't have the actual uh, packet for this one unfortunately but I do have a copy of the advert that appeared in uh, children's comics at the time and uh, the first thing to note is that it obviously was in Cocoa Krispies so this was uh, before it was rebranded Cocoa Pops and uh, Cocoa Monkey appeared on it uh, and you got this uh, chap with his sort of western hat and guns and everything else so uh, and it was also in Sugar Stars as well which is uh, another cereal that's long since gone so uh, it's obviously advertising these uh, six models and the fact that they are pushed together kits that you can uh, make. So uh, let's have a look at some of them. So when you actually get these, they came in uh, uh, plastic bags and uh, you'll see that there's two parts to it. You've got the actual uh, one part of the kit you can see clearly is the actual model itself of the car or whatever it was you're gonna make. But you've also got that smaller part, which is the wheels. So uh, the wheels came in four different colours as well. You've got uh, black, green, grey and uh, a light blue. Uh, and the actual kits as well came in uh, uh, five different colours. So again, you'll see in this example, you've got uh, red, yellow, green, dark blue and light blue as well. And because uh, of the fact that actually the wheels and the actual uh, main sort of model itself are different colours, it does mean that you can get sort of varying combinations. So uh, here's an example of uh, the estate car where you can see it in uh, uh, with different wheels as well included in that. And this was made by R&L, so hugely popular by R&L Collectors, which is the Australian manufacturer. And uh, one of the things is that there's this really small tab, which uh, uh, this is a blown up version of it which actually appeared on the side of one of the sprues uh, and on the back it said uh, made in Great Britain as well clearly the Australian one said made in Australia so uh, that's what they looked like when they were mint let's have a look and see what they were like when they were made so uh, here we've got the uh, the actual estate car so you'll see it's uh, obviously got the wheels all attached to it and they all they all move you can just hear that uh, and then you get this funny sort of bit at the front which uh, is actually one of the bits that is detachable uh, and that's so you could actually uh, sort of use this as a a car one car towing another and I'll, I'll show you that in a moment so uh, this is probably one of those bits that frequently get lost I would imagine actually having them made is quite something so uh, really nice and you'll see it's got a little loop on the back as well which you'll need for some of the other parts here's the caravan Again, very sort of traditional looking caravan from the time and then you get uh, one of the pleasure or speed boats not sure quite what the difference is between the two but you see you've obviously got the uh, outboard motor on the back which uh, does actually have this piece that allows it to pivot up and down it's quite a nice little touch it's really well made these actually if you think what they are just bits of plastic and they're uh, so fragile as well uh, and again you'll see all of these models actually have two bits they have a clip to go on the front so you can connect it to a vehicle in front but also something on the back as well so you can uh, tow it and make one mighty chain and here's the uh, saloon car so, uh, in green and again this has got that towing piece on as well You've then got one of the other boats as well. Presumably this is the uh, leisure boat or pleasure boat. It doesn't move quite so much, but again, it's got the carriage as well that you tow it on. And then this one here, which I quite like, this is the horse box. So it does actually have the horse as well. So you just had to join those two bits up together and then you've got a nice uh, Nice little holes to put in there. So, and I do like these models. I think they're really uh, nicely made. Here's a, a better image of them all as well, so you can see what they look like. And uh, very collectible, these, mainly for the reason that they are, as I said earlier, man manufactured by R&L. But they're just such beautifully made things, I think, and uh, it's just so nice to actually see what they look like. So if you're interested in this and other serial offers, please subscribe to this channel, like and share it, or visit my website serialoffers.com, click on Kellogg's, 
and then Cocoa Pops.